I didn't even announce this one. I just want to get it done real quick. While I have a little bit of quiet. So I'm gonna do this really fast. This is a really small, I call it my white elephant order. I did through L3 from her most recent restock. I literally only went in for white elephant stuff. That was it. So in this became, became came with a blue raspberry ring pop and my invoice. Upon opening this, it smells like lavender. <laughs> so. Here's our little samples. She always sends your samples in a cute little bag and a sticker. This sticker says, the big question is whether you are going to be able to say a hearty yes to your adventure, Joseph Campbell. I really like those stickers. Now here, eventually, I will be putting in some pretty significant orders with a couple vendors and I'm hoping L3 will have the stuff for me to do that. I'm still waiting for my L3 customs. I only got two custom chunk bags, but I'm still waiting for them. So the sample she sent me is a really tiny, tiny. I've never even seen an amount this tiny in her scoopables. They're normally a lot more so I don't really know what's going on here um this is a scoopable but there's not even enough there to really melt and it's strawberry raspberry guava cotton candy this is like minute this is the tiniest scoopable sample I've ever received from her then pink sugar cocoa butter cashmere cotton candy frosting The labels were kind of just flung on these two. I don't even know if I can get this one open. The label is literally covering the opening to the bag. What the heck? This was kind of a flung together one. Not really my type. You smell the pink sugar, you smell the cocoa butter cashmere, and you smell the cotton candy frosting. Not really my thing. It's kind of a pretty laundry sweet scent. But I know people that like it. I know people that like everything that I don't like. This one I will not like no matter what, but I know people that will. This is Mallow Fireside Palo Santo and Vanilla Bean Buttercream. <coughs> I cannot get on board with the Palo Santo. Can't do it. Nope. I do really like the Mallow Fireside and the Vanilla Buttercream is really good in this. And the, the Palo Santo isn't super strong in it, but I know that as soon as I warm it, it will be. Okay, now let's get into my order. I got a puppy pack and white elephant exchange, sweet lavender. I almost had this custom, but I decided on a different blend. Mm, one that I have custom in here is actually in this that I got a custom of and I I made the custom before this actually was poured for this this smells so good that white elephant exchange is really it's so sweet and decadent and creamy and just amazing and then you get a really lovely calming lavender scent with it this one is one that I had made a custom of for my custom chunks before these this pre-order happened or that with this rts happened this is cotton candy white elephant exchange so this will give me a chance to see what my custom will smell like when it does come and i did get a bitty betty loaf in it and it smells really good it smells exactly like i hoped it would you smell that white elephant exchange like big time in there and then that cotton candy just is so so sweet and good <laughs> I wonder if you guys are not getting the notifications for these 
I know that one of you is cooking dinner right now. Then we have two more Bitty Buddies. One in the plain White Elephant Exchange, which White Elephant Exchange's blend is white powder donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake, and vanilla frosting. Oh, I love that scent so much. It smells like all of it. Perfectly blended and balanced together. And then the last one is the White Elephant Exchange Angel Food Cake Strawberry Sugar Cookie Dough. That strawberry is really good. Mmm. Really yummy. Now, I know that these need to cure for a while. Um... So the, the scents will come out even more after they have cured for a while. But I did want to come on and just do that quick little live for you guys to see it um, in case you're not on my YouTube channel. If you are on my YouTube channel, then you'll see a video go up about this sometime either tonight or tomorrow. I have a couple videos I need to put up. Um, I have this one that needs to go up, and then I have... One, two. So I have three more videos that I'm going to be putting up on my YouTube channel. So, bye.